everyone, welcome back. Thanks for tuning in again. I'm gonna go over a quick video here with the Frontier. Some of you guys probably already know how to do this, but if not, I'm gonna show you how to do it in case you get stuck out on the road with a flat tire. So we're gonna show you how to get the spare out from underneath your truck, where you find the tools, and just how easy it is to do. So I parked the other day and I noticed as I stepped out of the vehicle that I had a little screw in the tire. This is it. I was grinding it down a little bit. It was in there for a few days. Unlucky, or I guess lucky for me, I tried to pull it out. I could hear that it was leaking, so I just twisted her back in, brought it to the shop, and it was in a spot on the wheel or the tire that they could plug and fix properly. So I didn't have to replace the whole tire, and luckily for me, it wasn't leaking while it was in there. So I had an opportunity to get where I was going, but if you don't, and you happen to get a flat, maybe out on the trail, on the highway, and you don't have somebody to plug it, these do have a spare tire that sits right underneath of your bed in the middle. All right, so first things first, you need to come to the back of your truck, open up your door. If you got kids like me, move their car seat out of the way. I've already got that side folded down. So we'll move this, and what you got is a little string or rope on the back of the seat here up beside the headrest it's the same on the other side that side pulls down the center and that other end this does this just your rear driver's side folds down over here is actually a jack so if you're stuck on the road and you're actually changing a tire it does come with a jack you can jack up your truck help yourself out but what we're looking for for this video is this little baggie here i know it's really dark but black bag and the tools you're looking for are right in here. All right, so once we got it out and on the floor, you can see there's a couple different pockets. You got your actual breaker bar here to get the lugs off if you're taking the tire right off. And you can see it's got a little hole in there. Keep that in mind, you will need that. And then on this section, you got the middle portion. You pull that out. You can see they're fairly long. That's a good thing. This one has a little T on the end. And then you keep going here on the sides and you got two of these that will be the same. You can see, same length, except they've got the different end on them. And that is good. You don't want these things to be too short. The longer, the better. So you get them all out. You need all three of these. And then basically, it's just like a little puzzle. That will hook onto here, go into there, like so, and then your final one with the T is the top. All right, and now for demonstration purposes, I'm not gonna take this tire right off of here because that's just too much of a pain in the butt in the garage and I don't need it off, so I'm just gonna show you how it works. If you look under there, you can see, got the tire. You can see the chain actually hanging down. I should tuck that up. It shouldn't be hanging down like that. It should be on top of the wheel, so we'll fix that while I do this. But then if you come up here, you can see under your tailgate, just a little left of the center, you have that hole there. Now, this is where it is on the Frontier. If you have a different truck and you're watching this, sometimes it's an extra little latch here, like we have our trailer plugins on that end. Once in a while, they have them there. Same thing, you open it up, it'll just be a hole, and that's to crank it down. But for our case, for this video, it's right there. You can see, easy to see, lots of space, easy to get at, nothing in the way. So next, what we need is our bar. Now, I don't know if you guys can really see in there, but you can maybe see that silver piece there. It's basically a hole with a little slit in it. That is what you're aiming for with this T-bolt. It'll line up, there's two little notches in it. So line your T up with the notches, push, it'll lock, not completely in, but it, you'll hear it click in, and then you can start cranking it down. All right, so now once you located the hole, you got your bars all together. This is how it looks. You can see it is very long. This is probably four plus feet, maybe five. So plenty of room. And what you want to do is you come down here, you take your T end, make sure it's flat, and just poke it in this hole all the way in. It's going to take more than one length. And you can get it all the way in there and kind of give it a wiggle. If, you're, if you can turn it like this, all the way around by hand, you're in the wrong spot. Just back it off and basically in and out until you find the sweet spot. 
And once you find the sweet spot, you can see now that it's in there and locked in. If you try to turn it by hand, it'll wiggle just slightly, but not enough to really spin. So that's how you know you're in there. Now, the nice thing with the length of these things is for our scenario, you don't really need this. But if you had, say, a hitch, maybe you got bikes or something sitting here, it gives you an extra foot or a couple feet. You can get way up here. You don't have to worry about taking the rest of your stuff off in order to crank this thing down. And then all you need now is your last bar here. And that's what I said, pay attention to the cutout because it fits just on the end of here. Just like this, give it a push. She clicks in and away you go. Now it's lefty loosey, righty tighty. All right, so I took one of these off just to be able to twist and film at the same time. But you can see, get your bar in there. Once you pop it loose, it's nice and loose. You just keep spinning. And then if you look underneath here, as you spin, I don't know if you guys can see it in there, but your tire, and it doesn't take much. I'm doing this with one hand. You can see your tire will start to come down. So you just keep on cranking, cranking, cranking. And that chain you saw hanging earlier will be enough to get your tire all the way to the ground, plus some, and able to be able to pull it back out of there. All right, so now, like I said, once you get it all undone, loosen it all the way as far as it goes. You can see the chain gives you enough slack, you can pull it out, and you move this little cover. I don't know if that's for dirt or just some sort of sound deadening or what, but pull that out of the way. And then in here, it's just like a little T-bracket on the end. So get it up and down, get your finger in there or do it from underneath, whatever's easier. But you can see, just a T-bracket like that drops in. When it's flat, it pulls up your tire, snugs it up to the top. They've got the little round portion there, fits in where the hub would go. So easy peasy, just like that. You can take your tire off. You do get a full size spare under these, but it is just your steel rim it's not a pro 4x rim wasn't really expecting it to be but it's good that they do give you the same brand same size of tire at least so if you're really out of luck and you get something that can't be patched instead of having to go out and find a brand new tire right away you could just take this swap them out or like i said if you're stuck out on the trail or highway somewhere just throw this guy on bring the new one in or the other one in get it fixed or order a new tire but you're not stuck, you're not driving on one different size wheel, so that's one bonus. And then, now when you're done, so you switched it all out, put the spare back in, you just drop this back in, it'll hang, goes flat, put this little rubber piece back down like so, push it back underneath your car, or truck, and then opposite way, you wanna just start spinning. And I don't know if you guys can see there in the dark, but that chain starts pulling. You will have a bit of slack before it actually starts lifting the wheel because you did pull it out. But you just keep cranking. There you go. You'll hear it and you can see it. it starts pulling. And up she goes. Now you may need two hands for this because I don't want this thing bouncing back and forth. You could hit your tailgate, you could do a little bit of damage to the paint. So I'm going to put you guys down while I crank this back up. And now once you got her all cranked down, you can look underneath. Just make sure it goes up in the right spot. You can see it's all tucked up nice again. Now we don't have the chain hanging. We don't have to worry about getting caught on anything or ripped off. And then if you look right underneath, you can now see that T-bracket, just exactly how it holds on there. Just pops in the middle, holds it up, pulls it nice and tight. You don't have to worry about any wiggling or wobbling or vibrating at all. So she's tucked up there nice, out of sight, out of mind. And you are good to go with your fresh new tire on there. So there you have it guys, show you just how easy it is to change your spare on these if need be. Luckily, like I said, the truck does come with a full size spare. So whether you're stuck up in the bush, on the highway, in your own yard, if you happen to get a flat tire, you don't technically need a tow truck. You can swap it out yourself, bring it in, get it fixed, get it plugged, or worst case, just swap the tires right around. 
and order a new one. Or if you don't want to have the spare underneath, put the flat one up under your truck. You'll just be screwed for the next time if it happens again. But this shows you just how easy it is. All the tools are in the truck, everything you need to swap it out. Full size spare. Don't have to worry about running awkward size wheels and tires on this thing. Everything fits. Pull one off, put one on. Takes a couple seconds to get this thing down and out of there. And another couple seconds to pull it back up. So should be easy. Hopefully this helped you out. Give us a thumbs up and subscribe if it did. Hopefully you guys catch you in the next video. And thanks for watching this one, everybody.